As we continue to look into lighting modifiers and tools, we felt it important to discuss barn doors and their use specifically in the studio with strobe lighting. When used and placed properly, they can offer help with several conditions where controlling the spread of light in specific areas of a photograph is critical to the success of the picture. Hi again, Tony Corbell here, and today we want to look at one of the very first tools I ever learned to use when I was first learning portrait photography and was being trained in the studio. Barn doors, the lighting modifier with a funny name, uh, are exactly as their name implies. They are made up of four hinge swinging doors used to control the spill of light which might be needed in a variety of situations. They can be helpful for directing the attention of the viewer to the face, for example, in the case of someone wearing light clothing uh, and your subject uh, on your subject, and moving the bottom barn door up prevents the light from spreading downward to the clothing. It can also help to prevent the spread of light in the case of a very high forehead, for example. By simply folding down the top of the barn door, it prevents light from spreading high on the face and sending light to the forehead as well. One way to look at the barn doors is to consider that they are a customized way of lighting your subject on the set almost by dodging away light from anything you don't want light to strike or where you need less light to strike. Like a customized tool you get to use at the end, uh, like a customized tool you get to use at the time of capture, not like post-production tool where you would be forced to use after the capture. There are numerous examples when the subtle use of controlling the barn doors can direct the viewer's attention and diminish the spill of light where you don't want it, and often can be a combination of both. Traditional portrait photographers throughout history have relied on this simple tool uh, because it's easy to use and it helps improve the look of their photographs. Especially during the film days, when the lighting or darkening of specific areas of the photograph were not easily accomplished as they are today with digital post-production capabilities. We hope this has been helpful and you'll find links in the description below for more information about these light shaping tools and many other topics. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful information. Thanks for joining us everybody.